Hey, how are you doing today? Uh, so today we're just going to do a quick uh, MS project, uh, quick trick or tutorial. I'm going to try to keep to, to under five minutes uh, just to give you uh, something that you can uh, use in your management. So what we're going to cover today is really how to create a centralized resource pool uh, that can be used then for multiple projects. So this would be particularly useful if you're a project manager who manages a, a number of small or me medium-sized projects and you do so from a common resource pool, which, which is fairly normal. Uh, you know, you've got a bunch of tradesmen or equipment or whatnot and you share those resources across your projects. So uh, with, that, with that in mind, let, let's jump right in. It's not hard to do, and so we should be able to cover this uh, really quickly. So to set up for this, what I've done is I've created three project files. Uh, so there's two project files that look very similar. So the one that's open on the screen right now is for a gar garage uh, construction, and I've got the, the first handful of tasks uh, assigned to it. Uh, that deal with site clearance and excavation for the foundation. And I put in some durations, they really don't matter. Uh, and that's really where that sits. And you see that they're all critical uh, because I've only got the one line of tasks in this particular project. Now, if this looks a little bit different than your uh, project when you start off, uh, just keep in mind that uh, I'm using my template that uh, I developed as part of the uh, fundamentals series of MS Project. Uh, I will put a link in the description below and one up here in the card. Uh, just, you know, in case you missed that and you're wondering why, you should create your own template or some tricks on how to do it uh, so you can follow the, along with that. So in addition to the garage construction, uh, what I have set up here, I'll just bring it up, is the house project. And you'll see I've pretty much given it the same tasks, right? You know, different durations maybe, uh, but you've got the same task to clear the lot and excavate for the foundations and prepare the foundation site. And so clearly the resources that we're going to use for these two dependent projects are going to be similar, uh, if not uh, the same. Now, because I manage multiple projects uh, from a common resource pool, which I then you know, allocate to the variety of projects, it makes a lot of sense that I would be able to manage these from a centralized resource pool. So that's what we're gonna do. And so that's the third project file that I've created. And so I'm just gonna bring it up here on the screen and go to resource pool. So here's the, the resource pool that I've created. And again, of course, it's just a partial resource pool that we can use as a, an example. So it is the only thing in this project file is the resource sheet. And I've added uh, resources for the project manager, some carpenters, laborers, uh, and some equipment, a D6 bulldozer and an excavator. And I put in, I, I filled it out for standard rates and all of that information that I would then want to have shared for the various projects that are gonna use those uh, resources. And there is nothing else in the project file other than the resources. And that's all that's ever going to be in that particular uh, project file. So I'm gonna pop back to one of my projects. I'll open up the garage. We'll start at the, uh, the garage. And what I need to do is add that resource pool because I have no resources uh, in it. So if I went to the resource sheet for this, you'll see it's empty. So I'm gonna go back to my Gantt chart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the resource tab and I'm gonna assign a resource pool. So I'm gonna go to the resource pool, choose share resources, uh, use resources uh, from a resource pool. And what it does is it offers as a dropdown box any of the open projects. So for this to work, that resource pool project, which I select here, has to be open and available to, to you. Uh, and I'm going to allow the pool to take precedence. So all of the information, if it somehow competes with the current project, the pool will take precedence. And I'm gonna say, okay. And immediately what you can see, so if I go off and now I choose my resource sheet, we now have access to all of those resources that are in that common resource pool. So it doesn't seem particularly useful right now because we only have one project using the pool, but let's see if we can't fix that. Let me pop back to the Gantt chart. So I'm gonna pop over to the house project and just bring that up here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to the resource pool, choose share resources, use resources from the open sheet, choose resource pool, let it take precedence and hit okay. And again, if I were to go to 
our resource sheet, you can see now I have access to those same resources. So now it gets interesting because what we have to do is start to assign those resources to tasks. And so I'm going to go back to my Gantt chart and I'm just going to look at, I'm just going to do a couple as an example. Uh, so clear the lot. If I look at the resources, let's assign the, the bulldozer to that. Uh, and for the excavate foundation, we'll do that with our excavator. And maybe we'll use the project manager uh, to manage the project. And I'm not going to get fussy about, uh, you know, 50% of the time, 20% of the time, and that will complicate things uh, as we uh, go on, which will sort of highlight the value uh, in doing this. And, and so if I were to split my screen, so let's go to a detail screen. And down here, I'm going to use my uh, resource graphs. And if I cycle through my resource graphs, sorry, just uh, you can see that the resources are showing up and where they're being used and not being used. Um, so let's just choose all of them. And I can go down here and I can cycle through them and I can see that the project manager, the D6 bulldozer and the excavator are all being used to their full capacity on the days where those tasks are. So uh, I'm going to pop off to uh, our garage project and I'm going to do the same thing. And so we go to the garage project. Uh, we have it here. What I need to do is I need to assign some resources. So I'm going to assign the, the project manager. Uh, to manage the project and then to the clearing of the lot. Again, I'm going to use the bulldozer uh, to do that and the excavator uh, for our foundation excavation. And again, I'm going to uh, split our tasks or split our sheet. So let's look at a detailed view and go down. Go down here, we'll create, uh, make that a resource graph and we can scroll through it and we can see our resources being used. Now, one of the things that you want to see is that we're also now able to see the over allocations because it's combining the resources or the resource usage from each of the uh, projects that are drawing on that central resource pool. And so this is the real value. So now with all the tools that we've already looked at for project crashing and resource leveling and everything else, we can go in and start to see those over allocations resulting from the resource dependencies of multiple projects. And so that's really what I wanted to show you today. There's one more uh, valuable step to this where we can create a master project file where we can actually manage our multiple projects from the same file, which has value to it. And I'm going to do that uh, coming right up here in another quick video just to keep it in the, under that five minute mark. So uh, hopefully you found that valuable. I'll put a link to the next uh, video as soon as it's ready. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you then and you find the information useful. Cheers.